just a minute. Yeah, so this will be question number five. <clears throat> so here it is asking for the integral of cosine x. So we need to calculate integral of cosine x dx. Now the thing is that I directly know the integral of cosine x but uh, I'll just go with the derivation given by Julia tutor here. So here to, to, to determine the integral of cosine x we have formulas used fundamental theorem of calculus suppose f is continuous on a and b like this is oh god trigonometric trigonometric rule of integration they have directly given the answer also trigonometric rule of differentiation for solution okay so i'll just follow this procedure because clearly because clearly uh, we haven't like ever uh, seen the derivation of uh, such kind of integrals because we directly know if uh, differentiation of sin x is cosine x then integral of cosine x will be sin x only um, but uh, let's just follow this derivation and see that uh, where will we end up so here they are writing cosine x is equal to derivative of integral of cosine t dt and the minimum value is negative pi positive is x so we'll go for the integration false here so this will become like i don't understand what is the um, uh, there is no sense of integration here because like uh, in the first step we are finding the integral of cosine x and to find we are doing another integration and here we are already writing the integration of cosine t dt as sin x plus c so uh, this doesn't make sense at all but i'll just do this because uh, it is mentioned here and obviously it must be mentioned in some kind of book also so integral of cosine t will be sin t this will become sin t from negative pi till x this will be d dx of um, sin x minus minus sin of negative pi now sin of negative pi sin of 0 is 0 sin of pi is 0 so sin of negative pi is also 0 so this term will be 0 and this will become d dx of sine of x and again derivative of sine x is cosine x so this will become cosine x and hence lhs equal to rhs and therefore we can say so the integral of uh, cosine x is nothing but sine x only and yeah for indefinite we'll have a plus c for definite we'll have some uh, value of c and that c can be zero also so this was question number five i guess yep so i think that is pretty much all for this one also Thank you.